Hello dear children, today let us do a new chapter of your civics that is chapter number 5 and the name of the topic is women change the world. Here boys, this chapter is based on the work of women, how that means they change the world, how different work they are doing let us see here in this very chapter in the previous chapter we show how women's work in the home is not recognized as work in our previous chapter that is in chapter number four boys we show how women they are doing their domestic work okay how the whole day they used to do work in spite of doing their homework or domestic work the whole day but it is not recognized by people people used to develop those domestic work we also read how doing household work and taking care of family members is a full-time job and there are no specific hours at which it begins or ends Moreover, children, we have seen there, we read how doing household work and taking care of family members, it is a full-time job, full-time work. And there are no certainty of any uh, working hours at which time it will start or end. In this chapter, we will look at work outside the home and understand how some occupations are seen to be more suitable for men than for women. So here in this very chapter, chapter number five, boys, we will look at work, which is used to do outside the home and understand how some occupations, how some works, professional works are seen to be more suitable for men than for women. We will also learn about how women struggle for equality here in this very chapter. We will also learn about how women they fight for equality. Getting an education was and it still is one way in which new, or new opportunities were created for women. So, to get education, okay, in earlier days, and still is one way in which a new chance were created for women. This chapter will also very, uh, briefly trace the different types of efforts made by women's movement to challenge discrimination in more recent years. So here in this chapter, here it will also briefly trace, trace means find by investigation, okay, the different types of efforts which are made by the women's movement in order to challenge discrimination. Discrimination means that uh, unjust or prejudi prejudicial treatment of uh, different categories of people in more recent years. So now let us see the next page. Who does what work? So here's the work it has given to you boys. Draw images of the following. You need to draw images of the following. Okay, first one a farmer, second one a factory worker, third one a nurse, then next one a scientist, then a pilot and a teacher. So you need to draw all these pictures here. Okay, just 
draw it and remaining you see see what images your class view by filling in the table below and of the number of male and female images separately for each occupation this one that means it asks to compare with other boys okay so uh, leave this part but just draw these images whatever it asks above okay Roji ma'am's class has 30 children. She did the same exercise in her class and here is the result. Roji, she's a madam. Okay, uh, she's a madam and her class has 30 children. She did the same exercise in her class and here is the result. Okay, as it asks in the page number 55, here that work is maintained or made to do by the children of Roji Madam's class among 30 children. And here the result is cited. Category, male image, female image. So different, see numbers and category it has given. You just get through this one. Power opportunities and a rigid expectation. A lot of the children in Rosie Madam's class drew women as nurses and men as army officers. Here, yes, see boys in page number 56. Here, yes, a lot of the children in uh, Rosie Madam's class. Those children, they drew women as nurses and men as army officers. The reason they did this is because they feel that outside the home too, women are good at only certain jobs. And the children of her class, they did so. Okay, it is because they feel that outside the home also women are good at only certain work okay only certain jobs for example many people believe that women make better nurses because they are more patient and gentle as example boys many people they used to believe that women make better nurses okay to compare with men it is because they are more patient. Their patient power is more. And gentle also. This is linked to women's role within the family. Similarly, it is believed that science requires a technical mind and girls and women are not capable of dealing with technical things. In the same manner, boys, it is believed that this is the thinking of the people, okay? This is the thinking of thinking of those children. That science requires a technical mind, okay? So, and girls and women, they are not capable. They do not have the ability of this technical mind of dealing with the technical things. Because so many people believe in these stereotypes, many girls do not get the same support that boys do to study and train to become doctors and engineers. It is because so many people believe in stereotypes. Stereotypes means a widely held but fixed and oversimplified image or idea of a particular type of person. So many girls do not get the same support. Okay, they are not getting that same support as that boys do to study and train to become doctors and engineers. Many families, they used to give such guidance to girls 
okay that they used to neglect them especially for girls child in most families once girls finish school they are encouraged by their families to see marriages as their main aim in life boys it is also found in most families once girls they had finish her school life they are giving support okay they are supported by their families to she marries as their main aim in life they are just after finish a matric many family members just they used to think how to make her daughter or girl child to get married it is their main aim in life so see uh just to think this stereotype see breaking stereotypes how did this girl she break this stereotype let us see engine drivers are men but 27 years old lakshmi lakra from a poor tribal family in jharkhand has begun to change things generally boys you find engine drivers are men but you see here a uh, 27 old girl a girl who says is 27 years and her name is lakshmi lakra from a poor tri- tribal family in jharkhand has begun to change this change things she want to prove herself that she also can do work like a man so there is no difference between man and woman so in order to prove that let us see what she has done here she is the first woman engine driver for northern railways and lakshmi lakra she is the first woman okay as engine driver from for northern railways lakshmi's parents are not literate but they struggled and overcame many hardships to make sure their children got an education lakshmi's parents they are not qualified they are not that means educated but they struggled okay they carry very hard work and overcame many hardship means severe suffering they faced to make sure their children got an education to make her educated okay family of lakshmi lakra they work very hard they face very trouble severe suffering like that okay lakshmi studied in a government school so lakshmi lakra she studied studied in a government school even in a school lakshmi helped with the housework and did odd jobs even that means in school lakshmi she used to help with the housework and did odd jobs that jobs which girls generally is not doing that works she used to complete she used to do she studied hard and did well and then went on to get a diploma in electronics so lakshmi lakra studied very hardly and she did well and then went on to get a diploma in electronics it is a course okay in electronics she then took the railway board exam and passed it on her first attempt then lakshmi lakra after getting diploma in electronics she took the railway board exam she appeared the railway board exam and passed it on her first attempt on when she that means appeared at first time 
she was succeeded there. She passed there. Okay. Lakshmi says, "I love challenges, and the moment somebody says it is not for girls, I make sure I go ahead and do it." So Lakshmi see what the marks made here by herself. I love challenges. Right from the beginning, she said, "I like what challenges." And the moment somebody says it is not for girls, I make sure I go ahead and do it. So the time when somebody used to say, "Ah, this is not the work for uh, girls," she herself she makes sure to go ahead and do it. Lakshmi has had to do this several times in her life. When she wanted to make uh, to take electronics, when she rode motorcycles at the polytechnic, and when she decided to become an engine driver, Lakshmi has had to do this. Different time, okay, several times in her life. Yes, that means when she wanted to take electronics, when she rode motorcycles like a man at the polytechnic. Polytechnic means it is a college of the boys, a college for students here. And when she decided to become an engine driver. Her philosophy is simple, okay. Her philosophy means uh, the study of ideals and beliefs about the meaning of life. Of philosophy, so her philosophy is simple. As long as I am having fun with the, uh, without harming anyone, as long as I am doing well and helping my parents. Why should I not lead a lifestyle of my choice? So here, Rasmi Lakra she made this remark. As long as okay, she is having fun without giving any harm to anyone. As long as she is doing well and helping her parents. Why should she not lead a lifestyle of her own choice? This one adapted from driving her train by Netalal Women's Feature Service. It is important to understand that we live in a society in which all children face. Pressures from the world around them, boys. It is very important here to understand that we live in a society. In the society, all children face pressures, different pressures mounted to children from the world around them. Sometimes these come in the form of demands from adults. Okay, adult means a person uh, who is fully developed. Okay, so sometimes this come in the form of demands from adults. At other times, they can just be because of unfair teasing by our own friends. And at other times, they can just be there. It is because of Unfair teaching, okay. It is due to the teaching of teaching by our own friends. Boys are pressurized to think about getting a job that will pay a good salary. Okay, see here. Most probably, boys are pressurized in order to think about. Getting a good job 
which will pay a good salary. They are also teased and bullied. They are sometimes they are also teased and persecuted if they do not behave like other boys. You may remember that in your class six book, you read about how boys at an early age are encouraged not to cry in front of others. Boys, you may remember that in your class six civics book, you read about how boys at an early age, okay, they are recognized not to cry in front of others okay it is just used to say you are a boy so a boy should not cry like a girl like that okay you have, you have got through this thing that means in your class six book here let us see a story it has given javier was happy with the results of his class 10 board exams Though his marks in science and maths were not high, he had gone. He had done well in his favorite subjects, history and languages. When his parents saw his report card, however, they did not look pleased at all. See, Javier was happy because. In class 10 board exam, he passed, okay. Though his marks in science and maths were not high marks, but he secured good marks in his favorite subjects like history and languages. So when his parents saw his report card, mark it. However, they did not look happy at all. Okay. My goodness, Javier, you have managed only 65% in maths. Your marks in physics are low too. See the reaction from parents. Okay. My goodness, Javier, you have managed only 65%. You have secured only 65% marks, 65 marks in maths. And... Moreover, your marks in physics are low too. I know, Mama, but it's okay because I don't want to take maths or science. I want to study history. So in the response of her mother, Javier said, I know, Mama, but it's okay. And how it is all right because he don't want to take maths or science in his father's study. He want to study history only, okay? Why do you want to take history? Think about your future. You have to get a good job. History will not help. It has no scope. So here you see, uh, most probably his father, his said, why do you want to take history? You just think about your future. You have to get a good job. Okay. Which cannot give by this history subject. Okay. History will not help. It has no chances. Okay. No chance at all. No scope. But, but I don't like maths or science. Javier, he said. But. I won't like what maths or science. You do not like this maths or science subject. Be sensible, son. Take maths, and you can study computers side by side. The job market for computers is very good. So, again, his father he replied, "Be sensible, son. Come on. We understand this." Just understand that take maths and after taking maths, he should study computers also side by side. 
if we take maths and computer the job market for computers is very good yeah, there is a good opportunity to get job okay if anyone taking computers said by his papa to jeria so this is also one way how to how that means parents they are pressurized to that jeria he do not like this maths and science but parents are compelling him to take math science and computer learning for chance going to school is an extremely important part of your life to go in school regularly it is an extremely important part of your life children as more and more children enter school every year we began to think that it is normal for all children to go to school as more and more children they used to enter school they used to get admission there in the school every year we began to think that it is normal for all children to go to school today it is difficult for us to imagine that school and learning could be seen as out of bounds or not appropriate for some children today it is difficult children for us in order to understand or to imagine that to think that school and learning it could be seen as out of bounds no bounds is here or not appropriate for some children but in the past the skill of reading and writing was known to only a few but in the past this was uh, the skill of reading and writing it was known to only a few persons okay so there were percentages of illiterate were more at those days most children learnt the work their families or elders did for girls the situation was worse okay so most children they learned the work their whatever work used to do by their family members or elders for girls the situation was worse for the in that, that means in the condition of girls the situation it was poorer quality okay very poor quality in communities that taught sons to read and write daughters were not allowed to learn the alphabet so in communities okay among the people still some that means state are there okay boys where such thing is persisted where such thing is going on so in communities it is found that taught sons to read and write on the other hand daughters who are not allowed to learn even the alphabet they should think why should i send that means daughter for education it is just waste of money okay some people used to think okay see after class 10 uh the girl will get married this is their only aim okay and then after marriage the girl will go to her husband's house then what is the use of waste of uh, what is the use of say spend money on girls this is the thinking of the people okay but this is not the correct way boys even in families where skills like pottery weaving and craft were taught the contribution of daughters and women was only seen as supportive so even in the families okay in some families where skills were such as pot making weaving and craft were taught okay the contribution of daughters and women was only seen as supportive okay it is fine that means it is founded 
uh, the works such as pot, pot making, okay, pottery, weaving, or craft work. They are the work which are where condition of daughters and women was only seen, okay, as supportive, supportive means providing encouragement. For example, in the pottery trade, women collected the mud and prepared the art for the pots. So, as example, uh, in the pottery, pottery trade, women they used to collect the mud and they used to prepare the art for making pots. But since they did not operate the wheel, they were not seen as potters. But till they did not do the work of, that means uh, operate the wheel, they were not seen as potters. In the 19th century, many new ideas about education and learning emerged. Okay, here in the 19th century was many new ideas about our education and learning, it move out. Schools became more common and communities that had never learnt reading and writing started sending their children to school. So in the 19th century was, school became more common and communities that had never learnt reading and writing they started to send their children to school. But there was a lot of opposition to educating girls even then. Okay, the school opened, but there was a lot of opposition regarding the education of girls, to educate girls even then. Yet many women and men made efforts to open schools for girls, though that means many women and men attempted, okay, at the attempts to open schools for girls. Women struggled to learn to read and write, women they fought in order to learn to read and write. Here at the right margin, Ram, uh, Ramabai's story it has given boys you get through this you read it okay you read it yourself let us read about the experience experience of Rashundri Devi who was born in West Bengal some 200 years ago here boys let us see let us read about the experience what got by Rashundri Devi and she was born in West Bengal some 200 years ago. At the age of 60, she wrote her autobiography in Bangla. So when she was only 60 years of age, she herself she wrote her own story, okay, in Bengali language. Her book titled Amar Jivan is the first known autobiography written by an Indian woman. So her book, which was titled, the name of her book was Amar Jivan. Amar means mine, okay, my life. Jivan means life, okay, my life, it is a Bengali word, boys. So, my life, that means, which she wrote, it is the first known autobiography, which was written by an Indian woman. Rashundari Devi was a housewife from a rich landlord's family. Rashundari Devi, she was a housewife. Is not doing that means any work in any home, I mean, uh, in any office or anywhere. So, just used to do work at her home from a rich landlord's family. She was from a 
uh, this land, uh, landlord family, okay, was having a vast or big land, okay. At the time, it was believed that if a woman learned to read and write, she would bring bad luck to her husband and become a widow. So, at the time, it was the thinking of people that if a woman learned, if a woman become educated to read and if a woman learned to read and write, she would bring bad luck to her husband and become a widow. Okay. See, it was thinking of people. Okay, it's a false idea, boys. Okay. And she become a widow. Despite this, she taught herself how to read and write in secret well after her marriage. Okay. Uh, even though she taught herself how to read and write in secret, okay, without making notice to others, well after her marriage. I would start working at dawn and I would still be at it until well beyond midnight. I had no rest in between. I was only 14 years old at the time. See, the whole day she used to do work like this, okay. So, uh, until well beyond midnight. I had no rest in between. I was only 14 years old at that time. So, her age, it has mentioned only 14 years, okay, at the time. I came to nurture, nurture means look after, okay. Nurture a great longing. I would learn to read and I would read a religious manuscripts. So, she feel this, okay. I came to nurture, I look after a great longing. Okay, it was her own desire, okay. I would learn to read and I would read a religious manuscript. Okay, religious uh, document that was written by hand. I was unlucky. So here was uh, Rokia Shakhawat Hossein and her dreams about Lady Lane. You just get through this one also. So I was unlucky. In those days, women were not educated. She was unlucky, she said. Okay, Rashundari uh, Devi, she said, she was unlucky. It is because of in those days, women were not educated. Later, I began to uh, reason my own thoughts. Okay. Then afterward, what happened? Uh, to reason, reason means to feel ang angry about her own thoughts. What is wrong with me? Women do not read. How will I do it? Okay. So, here she said, women do not read, but how will she do it? Then I had a dream. I was reading the manuscript of Chaitanya Bhagavat, the life of a saint. So, suddenly she had a dream in which she saw she was reading the manuscript. Manuscript means the document that is written by hand, okay, of Chaitanya Bhagavat, that is the life of a saint. Later in the day, as I sat cooking in the kitchen, I heard my husband say to my eldest son, Bipin, I have left my Chaitanya Bhagavat here. So later in the day, as she sat for cooking in the kitchen, she heard 
her husband said to her eldest son bipin okay i have left my chaitanya bhagwat here when i asked for it bring it in he left the book there and went away when the book had been taken inside i secretly took out a page and hide it carefully so see here when uh, that chaitanya bhagwat had been taken inside see what she has done she privately okay very secretly privately took out a page from that bhagwat chaitanya bhagwat and she hid it carefully without showing to anybody he kept in a secret place that one where people cannot notice that it was a job hiding it for nobody must find it in my hand my eldest son was practicing his alphabet at the time so her eldest son he was practicing his alphabet at the time i hide one of them as well at times i went over that trying to match letters from that page with the letters that i remembered see how she managed this one okay i also tried to match the words with those that i would hear in the course of my days with tremendous care and effort and over a long period of time i learned how to read see uh, with a very great care an effort okay and over a long period of time she learned how to read after learning the alphabet rasundari devi was able to read the chaitanya bhagwat she after learning the alphabet as she learned that alphabet we have learned how she managed to learn the alphabet so rasundari devi was now able to read the chaitanya bhagwat through her own writing she also gave the world an opportunity to read about women's lives in those days so through her own writing rasundari devi she also gave the world an opportunity the world a chance to read about women's lives in during those days rasundari devi wrote about her everyday life experiences in details there were days when she did not have a moment's rest no time even to sit down and eat see how hard she used to do work and how everything she managed rasundari devi wrote about her everyday life experience in details in elaborate way there were days several days were there when she did not have a moment a time to take rest no time even to sit down and eat schooling and education today so was she at the right margin you see unlike rasundari devi and rokia you will get through this one this whatever it has written okay schooling and education today time which spent at school at present days and education let us see today both boys and girls attend school in large numbers there are several schools where co-education is going on boys so today there is a chance where both boys and girls attend the school in huge number okay yet as we will see there still remain differences between the education of boys and girls though there are that means boys and girls schools are there okay or both boys and girls they are reading together in many schools 
but there still remain differences between the education of boys and girls. India has a census every 10 years. Okay. In our India, we had a census to count the number of people and then education status like that after every 10 years, which counts the whole population of the country. It also gathers detailed information about the people, okay, the meaning of census, you see this thing, okay, counts the whole population of the country and it also gathers detailed information about the people living in India, their age, schooling, what work they do and so on. So different data are collected by the people, okay, from every indi individual and it is used to do after every 10 years. We use this information to measure many things like the number of literate people and the ratio of men and women. So with the help of census boys, uh, we use this information. We get a different information to measure many things such as the number of educated people and the ratio of men and women Okay, and according to the 1961 census, about 40% of all boys and men were literate. That is, they could at least write their names compared to just 15% of all girls and women. So, according to the uh, 1961 census, there are about 40% of all boys and men, that is 7 years old and above, we are literate, able to read and write, okay. Uh, literate means those who are able to read and write, that is, they could at least write their names, compared to just 15% of girl, all girls and women. In the most recent census of 2011, these figures have grown to 82% for boys and men and 65% of girls and women. See, in the most recent census of 2011, these numbers, okay, these figures have been grown to 82% for boys and men and 65% for girls and women. This means that the proportion of both men and women who are now able to read and have at least some amount of schooling has increased. It shows here number of population, okay, uh, educating percentage, it is increased at least some amount, okay, it increased. But as you can also see, the percentage of the male group is still higher than the female group. But boys, as you can see, all you can uh, also see, the percentage of male groups, it is still more than the female group. The gap has not gone away, yet the gap has not gone away. Here is a table that shows the percentage of girls and boys who leave schools from different social groups, including settled caste and settled tribe. Here in this table, boys, uh, it shows that the percentage of girls and boys who live schools from different social groups including several caste and several tribes. Average annual dropout rate in school education, okay. Average the uh, number of people they stop to go in school for education. Different tallies it has given you get through this one, okay. You have probably noticed in the above table that Settled girls and settled tribe girls leave school at a rate that is higher than the category 
all girls okay here probably you noticed the above table that sedulka sc and st sedul caste and sedul tribe girls okay uh, they leave school at a rate that is higher than the category all girls this means that girls who are from dalits and adivasi okay those who are that means from dalit communities or adivasi those tribal group okay who are living in the hill area or backgrounds are less likely to remain in school they doesn't like to remain in school they won't like to go for education the 2011 census also found that muslim girls are less likely than sedul caste and sedul tribes to complete primary school so according to the census of 2011 it was also found that muslim girls they are less likely okay than sedul caste and sedul tribe girls to complete primary school while a muslim girl is likely to stay in school for around 3 years girls from other communities spend around 4 years in school there are several reasons why children from dalit adivasi and muslim communities leave school okay why do they used to leave school okay ha uh, see dalit adivasi and muslim communities there are several reasons here in many parts of the country especially in rural and poor areas there may not even be proper schools no teachers who teach on a regular basis so in many parts of our india especially in the villages okay villages area and poor areas there may not even be proper schools is there not good teachers okay who teach on a regular basis are available there if a school is not close to people's home and there is no transport like buses or trains parents may not be willing to send their girls to school see if a school it is not near to people's homes and there is no transport system like buses or vans in order to carry school going children parents may not be willing they may not like to send their girls to school many families are too poor and unable to bear the cost of educating all their children so many families are there in our society in our country boys where families are too poor okay because of their poorness they are not able to bear the cost of educating all their children boys may get preference in this situation many children also leave school because they are discriminated against by their teacher and classmates so many children see they also leave school it is because of they are discriminated means to treat one person or group worse than others okay against by their teacher and classmates just like om prakash balmiki was percentage see here all boys and then st boys women's movement okay fight for our fight of women now let us see women and girls now have the right to study and go to school at present day women and girls now they have also the right to study and go to school there are other spheres like legal reform violence and health where the situation of 
women and girls has improved there are other domains okay experience domain such as legal reform legal reform means uh, reform means to change the system the law etc okay uh, violence uh, violence and health where the situation of women and girls has improved okay the situation of this violence health this thing is very improved these changes have not happened automatically women individually and collectively have struggled to bring about these changes so these changes have not happened automatically okay it doesn't come naturally occur automatically women individually and collectively they have struggled they fought to bring about this change the struggle is known as the women's movement the struggle which that means led by this women's it is known as here the women's movement individual women and women's organizations from different parts of the country are part of the movement so one individual women and women's organizations from several parts of the country they are part of this movement part of this women's movement many men support the women's movement as well the diversity passion and efforts of those involved makes it a very vibrant movement so many men also supported this one support the women's movement as well the diversity okay the differences passion patience means a uh, very strong feeling and efforts of those involved makes it a very vibrant movement okay it bring a uh, it is a very uh, vibrant here vibrant means to try very helpful of energy okay to do something then vibrant movement different strategies have been used to spread awareness fight discrimination and seek justice here are some glimpses of this struggle so different strategies means different plan were used in order to achieve that to get right for women have been used to spread awareness okay to make consciousness among the people fight discrimination and seek justice here are some glimpses of this struggle glimpses means glad okay at a glance some glance of this struggle has given here as under campaigning campaign campaigns to fight discrimination and violence against women are an important part of the women's movement campaigns in order to fight discrimination and violence means to look down or violence against women are important part of the women's movement then uh campaigns have also led uh, to new laws being passed campaigns means a plan to do a number of things in order to achieve a special aim okay have been also led to new laws being passed a law was made in 2006 to give women who face physical and mental violence within their homes also called domestic violence some legal protection so campaigns have also led to new laws being passed okay because of this campaigns new law have been passed 
a law was made in the year 2006 in order to give women who face physical and mental violence okay connected mental means connected with mind if uh, that means if such thing happen within their homes okay a law has passed also called domestic violence some legal protection similarly efforts made by the women's movement led the supreme court to formulate guidelines in 1997 to protect women against sexual harassment at the workplace and within educational situations i mean educational institutions in the same way okay effort means uh, here energy that need to do something made by the women here energy whatever they made in order to bring changes made by the women's movement led the supreme court to formulate that guidelines in 1997 in order to protect women against sexual harassment at the workplace and within educational institution. In the 1980s, for example, women's groups across the country spoke out against dowry deaths, cases of young brides being murdered by their in-laws or husbands greedy for more dowry see in the 1980s as example women's groups across the country across the whole india they spoke out against dowry deaths means uh, say jewels or money whatever used to give by the house of wives to their husband during marriage that is called dowry so regarding that cases of young brides being murdered by their in-laws it is because of this dowry okay sometimes these young brides are being murdered by their in-laws or husbands greedy for more dowry women's groups spoke out against the failure to bring these cases to justice they did show by coming on the streets approaching the courts and by sharing information they did in order to stop this thing this dowry system and then uh, to kill that uh, innocent young brides in order to stop that one women's group they spoke out against the failure to bring these cases to justice. They did so by coming on the streets on the road, okay, approaching the courts. They went to courts and by sharing information. Eventually, this became a public issue in the newspapers and society. And the dowry laws were changed to punish families who seek dowry, okay. So eventually, finally, eventually means finally, this became a public issue in the newspapers and society. And the dowry laws were changed, okay? And uh, if anybody asks for any dowry, okay, punishment should be given, such laws has passed. Here, dowry laws were changed to punish families who seek dowry. Then raising awareness, an important part of the women's movement work is to raise public awareness on women's rights issues. It is an important part of the women's movement, okay? Their message has been spread through street plays, songs and public meetings then protesting see protesting means to say or show that one do not agree the women's movement raising its voice when violations against women take place or for example when a law or policy acts against their interests public rallies and demonstrations are a 
very powerful way of drawing attention to injustice means to draw attention okay so it is a good way this public rallies and demonstrations here you can see in the picture it has given okay this rallies and rallies taking place here showing solidarity solidarity means the support of one group of people for another the women's movement is also about showing solidarity with other women and causes women's movement the fight uh, of women it is also about showing the support of uh, one group of people for another okay with other women and causes okay so here is the end of the chapter apart from this what it has given in the picture and the valuable sentences it has given you just get through this okay boys and then glossary boys see page number 67 glossary here stereotype discrimination violation sexual harassment this glossary has given you learn this okay so here is the end of the chapter thank you all